This lesson is part of my video course that teaches how to build event-driven Spring Boot microservices with Apache Kafka. For other lessons in this playlist, please check description of this lesson. In the following lessons you will learn how to start multiple Kafka consumers and how to make them work together as a group. Let's have a look at this little diagram. On the left side in my diagram I have products microservice, which acts as Kafka producer. In the middle I have Kafka topic and on the right side in this diagram I have three different microservices that act as Kafka consumers. When products microservice publishes product created event, this event gets stored in Kafka topic. As soon as we have new event in Kafka topic, microservices that are listening for events from this topic will consume it. In this example, I have three different microservices, so all three microservices will receive a new product created event message. And this is example where you have multiple Kafka consumers reading from the same topic. Now, this example is simple because all microservices are different and each of them needs to receive its own copy of the product created event. But what if we need to scale up and start more instances of email notification microservice? Let's assume that we started three more email notification microservices and now we have four of them running. In this case, when a new message is published to a topic, SMS notification microservice will receive its own copy, push notification microservice will receive its own copy, but how about email notification microservice? Here we have four of them running. Do we want all four email notification microservices to consume exactly the same message? And the answer is no. And this is because the same message will be processed by email notification microservice four times. Even though we have four instances of email notification microservice running, we want only one of them to receive a new message and it does not matter which one of these instances will process the message. We want the message to be processed one time only. So to help us scale up consumer microservice, Kafka allows us to run multiple consumers in a group. And this is called consumer group. Running multiple consumer microservices in a group is very helpful when you have lots of messages in the topic and you need to process them faster. In this case, you can start up multiple instances of email notification microservice, group them into one consumer group and have each group member pick one message from the topic. And in this case, messages that are stored in the topic will be processed much faster because instead of one microservice, you now have multiple copies of this microservice working. But even though you have multiple instances of the same microservice working, when a new message gets into the topic, it will be processed one time only by one of these instances in the consumer group. And in this section of the course, you will learn how to do it. 